Hello everyone and welcome back guys Yellow to Race three. Room. Yeah, finally we're back with more of the Esports WTCR event here this week at the Shanghai Circuit. Yeah, moving on to this one though. Uh, yeah, this was this was recorded quite a while ago. In all honesty, I sort of just completely forgot uh, to edit this one. You know, I sort of want to change this channel up in sort of the direction. I don't want it to be, you know, be as much about series. I also want, you know, some one-off racing as well here. So on this channel, you know, there's going to be quite a lot of different content. You know, I've got fair bit of fours are coming. Sector one. Sector uh, one more, is a set of course, we're obviously sim racing system. Hopefully some more race room if I can find some racing on there. Uh, I racing as well. I've, I really want to try and get back into that. You know, I've renewed a subscription now, so I'm looking to try and do a load of iRacing over the coming year as well here, and hopefully obviously longer. Than flag, that. So clear. yeah, plenty of content obviously as well as Formula One as well. So yeah, a lot of sort of just random racing that's going to be coming on this channel over the next few months. See, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I sort of want to change the, this channel's direction just a little bit. It's still going to be competitive racing, but it's going to be sort of more of a more of a general racing aspect as well. You know, there's going to be a lot more sim racing titles and everything like that. But yeah, this week we obviously head to Shanghai. Currently in the background is just my fastest lap from qualifying here. And overall, you know, it felt okay. Uh, Shanghai, I hadn't really done much practice for this. I basically hopped on for half an hour to qualify. Uh, came in, I think, around sort of the top of a Division 3, sort of around of rank 50 overall, which I was certainly taking. You know, the aim was just to try and finish in the top three in this race so I could try and finally get some points on the board. It's sort of a bit weird. There's two championships. You've got the Time Trial Championship and then the Race Championship. The Race Championship, yes, honestly, mate, is a bit broken. Minutes of fuel honestly, you know, sort of the way the point system works, you know, so I'm really sort of focusing on the uh, leaderboard championship where I can confirm at the end of the series I did actually come I think 62nd overall which considering you know I only joined halfway through I was in the Audi for most of it isn't the strongest car you know I did a few laps in the I think it was the Honda uh, over the last couple of days and it's certainly a bit quicker than the Audi overall so a little bit gutted that I didn't pick that prior to the end there but yeah you know it's still it's been a very very enjoyable experience on the whole on racer I'm really looking forward to doing more racing on here hopefully uh, there might be a video coming out soon where I race a DTM driver to go. Five as minutes. well overall sim racing system around fumes, that house. Yeah, hopefully the I can get involved in that there. But yeah, we were in P2 at the late stage of the session. See, by the end, though, we're purple by 18 thousandths over Pasquale here. See, we, he's got three hundredths of a second over myself at this stage of the, se of the session here. This is going to be my final lap. Of the session, but hopefully we can try and improve on that. You know, if we could get pole, I would certainly take Incident that. Sector three. Overall, sector that would be very, very ideal here. Through the final corner, though, down at towards the line, and unfortunately just clipped the curb and validate the lap. I actually lap. forgot as well uh, that once, you did, once the time stops, you know, the session just stops. You don't get to finish your lap or anything. So I actually sector didn't P2. make it to the end. Flags out. I think P2. no, sorry, I think I just about made it to the end of the session there, but it wasn't actually an improvement. In the end, there. so a little bit gutty, you know. Starting P2 though, on the front row, as I said, I think I only need a P3 to try and score some points in this round. So yeah, looking forward to this race at Shanghai. Obviously, a track that I've never actually raced on apart from F1, so that could be quite interesting as well. Here, but yeah, I need to try and set up my launch control. Unfortunately, for those of you guys that follow me on Twitter, you know I had to actually completely reset my wheel a couple of weeks back. But unfortunately. I don't know what bug this is. I actually, funny story, I played Race Room a little bit last night. This is sort of what reminded me about this video. Uh, I couldn't set a bind for launch control. I have no idea why. Uh, it just refused to allow me to, which is very, very frustrating on the whole here. So, yeah, not ideal with that. And for those of you guys that obviously saw the Zanvolt race I did a few weeks back, uh, you'll realise just how important launch control is in these cars. So unfortunately, that is me not off to a good start already here. That is not exactly what I wanted in this race. We're starting on the front row, and we have got no launch control for some reason. So, you know, we basically have just got to pray that we don't okay, get off to a ridiculously poor start <laughs> of this race. My crew chief just telling me not to mess it up off the start, but it's safe to say five lights and away we don't go, go, go. go there because I've got no launch control. You're you on see right. Three how wide. OP Launch control is left. relative to not. We're already down to fifth. We're already going to drop to, I think, seventh or eighth here. We're going to go four wide. wide in towards to one of the home by and the Honda. Right the Honda clear. just going for a clear minute. Clear all round. Yellow flag, dive left up side. the inside. Clear in left. towards to one of the home by right. of Baladini there. Three oh, we all get squeezed up there. Flag. He spins off my front end there as top. Clear all around. Just send it up the inside. So, well, that's been me. Nothing I could do about that one. On the whole, they just completely got pinched between the pair of them, which is very. Very frustrating for myself, but we're down into P7 off the start Green there. But you know, we've got one. the hardest bit 
of this race over and done with there from myself. You know, we've got good pace Bastard. in this car, okay. so I'm hoping we can just try and fight with the guys up in front of me here and try and go for a bit of a fight back through the order here. But by about, well, just about six minutes in to this race, we're now on the rear of Nunes here. Hopefully yeah, we can try and get past him. There's been a spinner there, the Audi of, I think that was Pasquale there, so I think he it's was actually clear. the guy that was on pole has unfortunately been sent around there, so not ideal for either of the front row starters here, but that's me up into P6 of this race. Hopefully we can try and get a good run down the back straight on Nunes and Telhero here, but honestly, uh, the race Section I did at Zandholt, very, very fun. The race I did here, it, honestly, it was a bit frustrating on the whole. It, race room, you know, I love this sim, it's brilliant, brilliant fun on the whole, but they need to sort out a good penalty system on this game, because as you'll see through the rest of this race, some of the yeah, stuff yeah, that's just been pulled off, you can see there, Nunes sent right. down the inside and I just get involved in yet another pilot and nothing I could do about that, just wrong place right. at the, the wrong time there. But unfortunately, yeah, this it just desperately needs a penalty system right. this game, because really, as you'll see throughout the rest He's of this video, there. some of the moves by some people is just still absolutely there. sick. And then this guy on my outside right there, uh, Duran right. just completely squeezed me over the curbs, you know, just almost gives me a penalty there. We've got another car on my outside as we come in towards come on him, uh, Volda. He will actually have the Hold inside line. for turn of one here as we come in towards the braking zone here. Brake on just right. on one of those lines there. Unfortunately, Incident he just runs a little bit out wide into me there. I try to get the room on the inside yellow and Brink is going to dive down flag. the inside of the bear of us there, but almost lose the back there. end there. There's even more middle. cars streaming down the inside of us. Right. Almost 3-1. I'm left. trying to give him the room on the outside there. The Honda on the inside Hold I didn't realise we were going three wide as well there. So I had to bail out of that one there. And Brink is now going to be able to move back past me there. So we're down to P12 of this race. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good run though. Yes, we do in towards the next head, but we're going to make it quite clear that we're going to the inside, but unfortunately yeah, just, just decides to come across me in the braking zone. Seems completely fair. If you're asking, we've got another car trying to send it on the inside on the exit of the corner there. Block that, but unfortunately he's not going to be able to make that a work. So yeah, a bit of a crazy start to this race, but obviously hopefully we can now just try and keep it clean throughout the rest of this race here. We've got... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Rink loses right. the back end over the curbs there. We're going to try and swoop right around Still his there. outside through the next couple of corners. Want to move that Still He there. tries to squeeze me out over the curbs there. We try to give him the room on there. the outside. They don't want to cut the corner. He's still pushing me Still through there. the corner there. Unfortunately, he gets stuck to each other there, and I have to run him a little bit wide, but I did try and give him some racing right. room on the outside right. there as well. We're on the inside though through Yellow the flag. next corner there. There's there. even more contact between the Hondas there. They're going to go three wide Hold through the line. next corner there. Green Not too clear. sure. They're You're all just turning on each other. Rink in the middle. gets three down wide. the inside of me but trying to go Still down there. the inside. There's another car on the inside. The Honda on the outside right is just turning clear. on me once more here. Hot. And this race is just right. becoming frantic and Hold scary to be honest with you at this stage of the day. We've got Blunt trying to look up the inside of myself here as well. But all the way down to P10 you can just see we've got what? Six, seven, eight cars just in this huge scrap in this battle at this stage. And just have a look in my rearview mirror at this stage. I was very lucky I noticed this. There was actually contact between four of them there. I moved to the Left inside, tried to avoid it all, and it was almost a big pile right. as we came in towards the corner there. No idea Three why left. Nunes just turned in on me once more there. But yeah, I had to take evasive action through there, and lucky that I did actually get away with that one there. Through the okay, final couple the of corners car of Nunes. that there, running a little bit wide out of the Come final corner here, but we're up still in P10 of this race, we've got Volder, uh, Boulder even just in it's front of here, he's going to be trying to make any sort of move in towards Tel 1, he's a bit too far back to really go for anything here, but unfortunately in towards Tel 1 there, he's just going to well and truly engage, punt to pass, sharp. not really too short, right well side. how you miss your braking zone by that point, I was braking right. quite late, Clear right. into that corner there, but unfortunately, right. yeah, he just broke even later right. than myself there. And we've managed to pick up a two-second time penalty from that one, which was very, very frustrating here. We're not going to try and hold up Volder any more than that, but hopefully he's happy with that one there, having to well, just right. give me a penalty right in this race there. Right. Eurostotsky, right however you want to pronounce it as well, has been able to go through, and unfortunately, that was basically all she wrote in this race. Unfortunately, you know, two-second gap with 50 minutes. Doesn't sound like a lot, but in these cars, remaining. especially with those guys still in the slipstream, it's really, really tough to try and fight my way back through. One guy would make a mistake with a few minutes to go there, and that one moves up into P14. But what a frustrating race on the whole there. And as I said, there just needs to be some sort of better penalty system on this game. And actually, keep looking in the rearview mirror as well, right towards the end of this lap. But yeah, unfortunately, it was just a bit of a joke in all honesty. I really do enjoy racing on race room, but Races like this it can just turn into just carnage, to be honest with you, which is Green not really what I want to get involved in there. The Audi behind me of Kasahok is just going to go for a dive bomb 
on uh, Ferreira there. I feel very, very sorry for him because, well, he just got absolutely punted to Narnia. The Audi's now going to try and be a dick and come across him as well. That in towards the final corner. He almost tried to send it on me, but I shut the door there through the final couple of corners. And unfortunately for me, it's going to be P14 in the Shanghai event. Unfortunately, I couldn't do Macau uh, in the end. Unfortunately, the end the I, I had. Never mind. I can't remember what I was doing actually on the day, but yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't make Macau either there. So that is it for the E Racing uh, EWTR, uh, EWTCR event for this year. A bit frustrating to finish on such a low, but honestly, I'll take 62nd overall on the leaderboard. So hoping into 2019, I can improve on that, you know, now I know how these cars drive. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new around here and you do want to see more competitive racing on this channel. But I will see you guys next time for a brand new video.